Scooped him. What a dandy dude. Oh my gosh. Did not expect to catch one else. What is crack on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors. Today we are just arriving. Got the tin can back there. We are at the river. Mississippi River. Oh my gosh. The mosquitoes are absolutely ridiculous this morning. Um, we're here to do some catfishing. I have not been down here to do any catfishing. Usually I um, hit it quite often, but um, I have not hit it since before opener. It was still cold, freezing cold, and um, the cats weren't really biting that good. You had to pretty much force feed them the night crawler. And um, today we're not doing that. We're bringing some big cut bait, some big minnows, and hoping to just uh, chunk those up and get them on the bottom and you know, drive around drive around with the graph for a little bit see where they're at see if they're in the holes are they in the holes are they on top are they on the shelves i don't know it's been a while I haven't been here yet but um we're gonna get out there tin can is looking rough today she's rusty but the river is looking crazy low look that's where like the landing ends like right here and it just keeps going with dirt so she's low we might um have to take it take it easy going up there Probably not, just full throttle it, but yeah. Uh, let's uh, get up there, catch some big catfish. Yeah, guys, stay tuned. After a 45 minute adventure, forgot this nice little cord right here in my truck, and the GoPro don't run if I don't have the cord. So, we are back, anchored up in a different spot. I think I was a little deep last time. Still a little deep, it's like 13 feet. I kinda wanna be in like 10, but we'll start here, start working this seam back, drop some big minnows in, get them right in the lip. Yeah, we are anchored at in the zone, and um, let's get some minerals going here. I forgot to the cutting board in the truck, so I guess we're going to cut it on a plastic bag. I'm sure that's not going to work, but um, yeah, first things first, just knock the head right off, but there you go. There you have it. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen catfishing videos in the past. Um, here we go. Big rigs, four ounce weight, 20 pound mono leader, 80 pound braid up top. Bud just caught a cat right next to me, so. Real good sign. Okay. Big cut sucker head. Get that in there. I'm gonna cast it back there far. Let's get it right in that deep, deepest spot. And then I'm just gonna work it back to the boat. Work it up the ledge. Sometimes they're in the bottom, sometimes they're halfway up, sometimes they're right on the lip of that thing. Just gotta find the feeding window. Something tells me they're right on the lip. Because I am marking them. And I am pretty much right on the lip at this point. First cat of the day. Caught me off guard. I was not ready for that. Thing straight slammed the sucker head, boys. That's what we're looking for. Big cats slamming suckers. we to get the fray bill. Someone get the fray bill. This one could be big. This one could be good. Oh, it's strip and drag. Strip and drag, bud. It's not that big. Just a fighter in the current there, bud. Scoop him right up. There you go. Now you're in the net. How's that feel? Mm, 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 mm. Get this out of the way. Oh, there we go. Catfish number one and a dang a gooden at that. God, I love me cats. I love cats. There we go. I mean, just a just a greasy one. Just a freaking fighter. Now you just hold still for a second there, bud. 
There we go. Hook is out and um, it's like five minutes in. I'm gonna say there's gonna be plenty more to come. Plenty, plenty more to come. For the first time being back on the cats for the summer, I usually like to uh, I usually like to stay with cut bait first. Work that around the deep spots. These fish are uh, trying to eat anything they can right now. Seems like they really go hard for the suckers right after they're done. Right when that water gets really warm, seems like they really go after the sucker. So, suckers today, maybe chickens next time. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a sucker versus chicken. We'll see what happens. Mm. Oh. Lost it. Oh, never mind. It's swimming at me. Dude, underneath the boat, bud. They are absolutely slamming it. Like, slamming it, slamming it, dude. That's when you know it's gonna be a good day. The bite is on. Oh yeah, just swim up here. That's how you do it. Just swim with me. Work with me, not against me, Holmes. Oh. Oh, good one. Oh, wow. Better than I thought. Gotcha. It was another five minutes. So let's go process. Every five minutes I can deal with that. Let me tell you. Okay, there we go. Cat number two. Absolute dandy. Big head, big whiskers. I like it. Okay, get the fray bale out of the way. And, um, well, right get your hook out of it first. Now let's get another one. Starting to see these fish um, on the graph more and more, and I'm kind of up on the ledge. I'm casting it in the bottom and just working it back up the ledge, and literally I'm finding them like halfway right now. So they're not in the bottom, they might be on tap. Oh, four ounce weight, good size boat. Yeah. Now, we're going to cast it about a quarter of the way back that we started cast. Got that one vertical jigging right below the boat. I was wondering if these fish were up on the shelf and I was too far back. Because I kept marking them. I said, hey, let's give it a shot. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, it's a good one. Big in, big in, oh my gosh, dude, settle down, settle down, settle down. Dude, it's not long, but oh my gosh, is he fat. Big head. Into the net you go. Oh, what a blockhead. Oh wow. Look at the size of the melon on that guy. Oh. Oh. Nice big cat. Um I was I was getting slightly worried. We were just actually about to make a move and um I was like, let me try and vertical jig this thing right below the boat because I was kind of marking a bunch coming past me. What do you know? Big cat. Oh wow. Jacked up nose. He's living the life down here. Let's get him back. Get him back. Oh yeah, so spunky. There we go. Oh! It's a first day. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That free bill right, he's coming up. Doesn't even know he's hooked yet, he's just swimming up the street. Oh, okay, now he knows he's stuck. Oh, oh, 
Job. But another big fat cat. Oh, goodness. Chubby, dude. That is a uh, dandy right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thick all the way to the tail on this girl. I'm talking thick to the tail. Look at this belly. Look at the size of this cat. She's, uh, she's got a little lip bleed. Not bad. She's definitely not hooked bad. Just in the lip, but we're gonna tuck her back. Oh! Bye! The cat's with the gummy lips when you uh, sink that old uh, four rot hook into them. It's kind of just like us, you know, they, they get a bloody lip for a little bit. Heals up right away. He's good. Gucci, back on his way. Ready for another fight one day. You never know. Maybe down by the bay. Just get it. Okay. Bottom fishing has been pretty lame. Pretty much died off right away. So, um, yeah. Probably gonna move around. I'm gonna cast this swim bait around see what else we can catch we're gonna come fish these i haven't fished these things in so long but um there's usually some good fish to be had you know we're just gonna bounce around on this thing see if we can find anything go from there oh this is juicy Oh, what? Who's that? Oh, it just broke me off. Sick. Sick. Instant break off. Wow. That was cool. Okay. We're gonna pop a sucker on this one. Try and grab a little one if we can. Do you have any little one? Oh yeah, there's a good little one. Oh yeah, we're catching something on this. Let me tell you, it's on. It's gonna get wild. Oh, we already lost the sucker, I think. Not good. Big musky, musky, musky. What? Let's get him out here. Net. Easy. Easy. Oh, wasn't expecting a musky, but. Uh, We'll take it. I'm a sucker. <laughs> All right, here he comes. Just gonna try and scoop him right away so he does, doesn't even realize it. Scooped him. What a dandy dude. Oh my gosh. All right. It's gonna keep him in the net over the side of the boat for a second. Grab my big camera. Oh my gosh, musky. He's nice and lively. Just gonna go ahead and unhook him right in the water, keep him in the water. And uh, just a quick look. That's it, we're gonna get him right back. <sighs> there we go. A big bonus musky. I was not coming up here expecting to catch one of these. But there she is. We're going to toss her right back in the water. I want to keep this hook out of the water long at all. 
Okay, she is, um, I'd say she's ready to go. Thing just soaked me. Did not expect to catch one of those. I guess that's what happens when you're fishing the old river, eh? Huh? Sick. Okay. Get another sucker on. I was thinking big catfish when he first bit, but definitely not a catfish. Another dandy musky. We're gonna tuck them right back, guys. I do not want to uh, stress these fish at all, so. They're so angry around here. During that whole process. You don't even wanna know what happened. I don't know when it happened. During the net job, during the release. I'm not quite sure, but. Dude, like, dude, this is my favorite cat rod. American flag, man. Guess we're not bottom fishing anymore today. Catfish, and uh, that's not what we're catching. Okay, okay, we're gonna end it here at the dam. An awesome, fun, successful day. I was um, here looking for cats. Cats went pretty good right when we got here. Bottom fishing was hot. We we're getting lots of bites, and um, got like four or five really good ones bottom fishing. And then um, I was like, this is. They just left. I'm not seeing them on the graph anymore. I'm not getting bites. So we headed her and um, went and casted around the sucker minnows for some more catfish. But um, fortunately, we got two muskies and one nice pike and a couple cats on the sucker just casting it around. It's bite tackle. But I have snapped off all the jig heads I had laying around on the bottom of the boat. I got nothing left. Minnows are gone. I think that's, that's we're just going to end it here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Martial Outdoors. As always, I don't know where I'll be next. Probably on the water, catching something, doing something dumb. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.